Hi Year 9, so today I'm here to talk to you about taking French as one of your options for GCSE. So if you were to choose French for GCSE, you would learn under three main topic areas, so identity and culture, local, national, international and global areas of interest and current and future study and employment. So three really broad areas, you can see loads and loads of different topics there that we will study in much more detail. So those are really exciting there, things there, social media comes under that first one, identity and culture, uh, travel and tourism and social issues across different countries in that second one. Um, and then school, university, apprenticeships, jobs all come under that third one. The grammar and the actual French you'll learn is just building on top of what you already know. So if you look at that list there, you'll think, actually, I already know all of that. And you do you will just be building on top of the French that you've already got so that you will be much more fluent. The GCSE itself is split into the four papers, listening, reading, writing and speaking. They're equally weighted at 25% each. So if you felt like you weren't so good at the writing, but you were really good at the other three, they would kind of equal themselves out a bit because they're all equal. Um, it explains there how they're answered and it's very, very similar to what we do in class. The one that I get the most questions on is the speaking um, and that's only a 10 minute exam. So it's really short. So even though you've got four exams there, none of them are really very long. Um, but the speaking is really short and it's just um, basically a conversation between me and you um, answering questions on different topics from the topic list I showed you a minute ago, uh, describing a picture and also doing a short role play where we just maybe pretend to um, sell tickets tickets and buy tickets and have a little kind of fake conversation in that. The most exciting bit is obviously the extracurricular for learning a language. Um, we can get visitors in like the Anati Theatre Company. Uh, there are trips in the UK like the Europa Language Centre which is set up like a fake French town. There's the Language Leaders Club that some of you already have been involved in um, and obviously the trip to France that will hopefully be able to take place again in the future. Languages can lead you to so many different things. You might decide that you just want to speak a foreign language and you want to be fluent in a foreign language just for fun. And that's why lots of you will choose French for GCSEs. You don't have to take a language to go on to universities. Some universities really like it. And there are a handful of universities in the UK that say that you need to study a language, um, but they are, they are very, very few. So it is only a few of those. If you wanted to travel, you could either work in one of the 29 countries that speak French in the world um, and do anything you wanted out there. Or if you chose to go to university and you had a GCSE in a language, uh, especially French, you could go on to take a year out in the middle of your degree and go and work abroad as part of your degree. Um, and sometimes that is paid or funded for by the university. Um, so I know that lots of students who study fashion might choose to go out to Paris for the year in industry. Um, lots of people that study business might go and work in a French business for their year in industry. And that's as part of your university degree. And obviously there are loads of career opportunities. So you could work in translation, you could become a spy and work for the intelligence agencies, you could become a teacher like us, um, or you could even move out to France and teach English as a foreign language. And the military, so the RAF and the army, they really like it if you've got a GCSE in a foreign language. And sometimes you can go out to some of those French speaking countries, um, maybe in Africa or somewhere like that, and you could be that link or that translator between someone that spoke French and the British army. So if you have any more questions about studying French for GCSE, you're more than welcome to come and talk to me and my email address is also on the screen.